Unbelievable, quite shocking. If you hear, you will understand why those terms were used. I mean, the two reasons why the Northern youths have picked Osibanjo as the best presidential candidate for 2023. In case you're not aware, the campaign for Osibanjo has begun in earnest already in the North. Why the South is still contemplating whether it's Osibanjo or Tinubu, the Northern youths are already ahead. You don't understand. They have, in fact, they have concluded Osibanjo has not picked a single candidate has not picked up name, has not declared to Nigerians that he is running for the election. He has not told anybody. Uh, you are the one deceiving yourself. The matter is already on ground. And I mean, it's already right there. You know, the youth are already saying, oh, see Banjo for the next level. Oh, see Banjo. I mean, they are rooting seriously for Professor Osi Banjo, you know, and um, they are giving us the reasons. I will tell you some of the reasons. Yes, my brothers, my sisters, is not far first. When they divide the South, they will be able to have what we call their conquest. Mm. To be able to have a field day. You don't understand it. When they ensure that the brothers are divided, then they can have it. Because when you have a family and you are not together, ah, it's a dangerous position. You don't know. Hmm. Let's get all the details. Two reasons why many Northern youths have picked Osibanjo as the best presidential candidate in 2023. As the 2023 presidential election is getting closer every day, many Nigerians has been eagerly awaiting the most qualified politician that will have the capacity to rebuild the economy and make Nigeria great again. However, a group of the Northern youth has vowed to give all their support and vote to the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. However, a group of Northern youth have vowed to give all their votes to the Vice President of Nigeria, Yemi Osibanjo, in the 2023 election, making it known that the man is the best candidate to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari and they are ready to gather not less than 20 million votes to a rail around the northern states to raise awareness that Osibanjo is the man. After this news, many people have reacted and wondering how northern youths will decide that Osibanjo is the best candidate among everyone. Why have the northern youths chosen Osibanjo to carry on? As we all know, Osibanjo is the closest person to the current president of Nigeria. He will eventually become Buhari's successor and discuss the vision of the country, Nigeria, to take Nigeria to the next level and make a livable premises for the people and investment. The North wants to gain Osiban just trust. So when he becomes the president, if eventually he becomes, he will never forget the North, saying that the North has stood for him. It makes him unable to neglect them and to have the kind of administration Buhari has had called nepotism. For example, similar to how President Muhammadu Buhari has targeted reasons of restructuring Nigeria and has refused, Osimbanjo also kicked against it. They both believe in the same current system. And Osimbanjo also said to all Nigerians recently, Nigeria is better together. So the North is more assured of Osimbanjo keeping Nigeria and will not allow for a referendum for any set or group to break away. Furthermore, many Northern youths believe that Based on how competent and how educated Osibanjo is, he is heavily capable of rebuilding Nigeria and making it great again. Also, they don't want anybody who has been there before, especially Osiban, Osibanjo, especially Tinubu, silently to replace Buhari. The effort Osibanjo is making towards Nigerians' unity, preach, preaching one Nigeria, is highly commendable by the North. And they see him as somebody who stands with Buhari and do not want Nigeria divided. He's one person who has never antagonized Buhari in all of his decisions regarding the nation. For this and many more, they want Osibanjo to take over from Buhari.
Now so my people, now so my people, now so the matter they hit us. The people say we say Osibanjo na the best man. Oh, nobody reach Osibanjo. They want Osibanjo again and again and again. So this is the clear indication of what is happening. Um, the northern youth have started their campaign, spending their own money, doing everything humanly possible. That um, when if eventually Osibanjo declares his um, interest for the race, he will not forget them. That's a very, I mean, they are being very, very, they are positioning themselves really well, if you ask me. You know, they are being very uh, futuristic, planning and putting things in place to ensure that by the time uh, uh, Sibanjo comes on board, he cannot neglect the North. Do you see what is happening there? Aha. Uh -huh. In case you don't know, strategy is part of the planning. Mm, there are people employed as strategic planners, you know. Uh -huh. Strategic planning director. So what that what does that person do, do? He thinks outside the box. What outside the box? What can we do? How can we position in, sense, in such a way, position ourselves in such a way that we are advantageous, that we have the advantage? What should we do? How should we do it? How should we coin this? What is new? What can we bring fresh to the table? What we, what would the people's preference be? How do we how do we go about it? How do we you know what do we bring to entice the people? To, to sensitize the people, to see, to see to it. For instance, impossible is nothing was once a bank's, you know, a, a, a slogan. And I mean, it so resonated with people that people began to, even churches, religious bodies all around could, could, could relate with it. And when you say possible is nothing, everybody could relate. You see, I mean, there are different things that have come up here and there that have become successful brands. Why? Somebody taught a strategic person, have thought about it, and then the advert follows. How do we do the advert? What do we put? What do we make it? Do we do do, do, they, do people around here cherish family values? What can we do? Do they have, do they see the youth has been neglected? What can we center around the youth that could possibly attract the people to feel included? That when you watch this, you are drawn. These are, these are techniques and um, rules of the game that advertisement companies pay attention to. You see, so, I mean, so the North is using all that strategy. You may call the North any other thing, but not fools. Trust me. Trust me. Eventually, they see that an, a south, a southern, a southerner will become the president of the country. But how do we strategically position ourselves so we don't lose out? How do we strategically position ourselves if the person is get, going to be there for four years, eight years? What do we do so we are relevant? These are all part of it. Why the South is yet to really make meaningful position? The North has started. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Bye for now.